For almost four years, Scott Methvin was Queen Elizabeth's piper. He would play at events, play on demand, play tunes she loved. He left the army almost three years ago and the role he performed for the Queen, but left with memories of a woman he respected and admired. For me personally, this wasn't just someone that's on a pound coin or on a, on a banknote. You know, the Queen was a real person to me. Um, for me, um, I had a wee tear in my eye. Yeah, I was, I was absolutely gutted. I, was a, I feel like I've lost a member of my family, to be honest, genuinely. There have been 17 people appointed the Sovereign's Piper since 1843. Only eight are still alive. The former drum major considers it a huge honour to have glimpsed behind the curtain at a royal life well lived. Some of the things that have been said um, about how much, how quick-witted she was, uh, how funny, and um, but it's for me personally, it was it was her, her humanity as a person. That was a big thing. Um, how she treated her staff, how she treated me as a person. Um, uh, she didn't act like a boss. She didn't act. She acted like a, a caring woman. That's that's the core thing for me. The current piper will play a role in the coming days as a nation says farewell, and those who knew her and worked for her remember the moments they shared. I joined the army in Stirling in 1989. Um, I was just a young, 15-year-old, uh, and I swore allegiance to the Queen. Never would have thought that. Go 20 odd years later, I would be sleeping 75 steps away from the Queen every night. I would be, I would class the Queen as a, a real person. She knew, she knew my name, she knew my children's name. It is likely when Queen Elizabeth is laid to rest, there will be a final lament played. But across the country, those like Scott Methvin will say their own very personal farewells. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Stirling.